Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I've got something, uh, it's new for me. Um, hopefully we'll be doing a, a build series on this rig. Uh, I'm probably gonna catch a little bit of slack because of it. Uh, but if you've been uh, watching this channel for any time now, you know that I am a stickler for these kits. Uh, yes, it is a Tamiya kit. Uh, but this one will be a little different and, I, and I'll explain the reasons for buying this as we go along. I wanted to do a little unboxing for this, so I hope you guys will like it, but here we are. Tamiya Mercedes-Benz G500. It's a CC, uh, CCO2 chassis. Um, looks to be a really cool build and I'll tell you why I went with this. I was on the fence about buying another crawler. Um, I built several. I built everything from from axial to elements. Uh, I built a few Vateras. Even got involved with a couple of Red Cats, and they're great, capable rigs right out of the box. I wanted a little bit of a challenge. Not that this is going to be a full-on crawler, but I've seen this truck online several different places. Number one, the body is super appealing to me. I love the paint, uh, I love the color uh, through the box art, and the detail on this body is just second to none, as with most of my bodies. So that was a major draw. The plan for this is going to be build this truck out bone stock. That's using every component that's supplied in the kit, from the ESC to the motor, uh, not that it matters, but the LED kit for the lights, uh, utilizing the kit tires, the kit shocks, the kit links, everything in this box to get this truck built, take it out, put it through its paces in stock form to get a baseline. And then after that, what I want to do is take this thing, completely redo it from the ESC to upgrade it from, from the stock to Maya ESC to a, a good comparable crawl ESC to a full on crawl motor, probably something from RC four wheel drive. So we don't have, we don't stick a lot of money into it. Changing the tires, changing the wheels and changing the kit supplied uh, for uh, four links to something that's either custom made or already available in the correct lengths. Then taking it after it's built that way, putting it back on the very same places that it's tested in kit formation to see what kind of improvements we get out of. So with that being said, I wanted to wait a little bit. I have already opened this box. I'll go ahead and tell you, because I'm a kid, I can't stand it. I gotta, I gotta look at everything. But uh, we're gonna open it up take a look at what's inside this thing and start making some plans. All right, so here we go. If it turns out anything like the box art, this is going to be one, one really nice looking rig. Set you back to the side here. First thing right out, right on the top. He has kind of packed in there. I tried to put everything back just like it was. Um, <laughs> Total letdown number one are the tires. If you've ever built a CC01, you know about these tires. These tires are hideous, but they are kit supplied, so we will use these on the first outing of this thing. I'm trying to put it through its paces of stock. Now, they are, they obviously have no foams, but they are hard as a rock. Let's open one up. Yeah, the detail is definitely there. There's no name on it. But you've got, Tamaya always puts a lot of uh, tire brand decals in their kit. So I could put something on there, but there's really no point. But the detail is definitely there. It's a great looking tread, but that tire, if you can hear that, is hard. My goodness. So we'll be using these for one time, probably, and one time only. Um, and, and definitely get a video of that. Now this is this is really nice here. The wheels, although they're plastic, 
have a lot of detail. They are spot on. Let's see if I can get one out without trying to destroy these bags. Because my intent is to get this video shot, get it edited, and starting to upload it. And I'm going to start building the truck. But look at that. They're, they're really nice looking. They are 1.9. And uh, they're plastic. But you know, I mean, you know, Tomias is not to glue those wheel, those tires to these wheels for some reason. I can't understand that, but hey, it's a good looking piece. So we'll definitely use those and we won't glue them. Thanks to my, one thing I did opt for when I bought it was a full set of bearings right there. Uh, reason why is because it obviously comes with just bushings. If you've ever built a Tamiya kit, you know, um, these were cheap enough to just get them thrown in and uh yeah so good time to play some while we're building this thing get it all built right let's see this tb i think this is a tb tble02 standard you know brushed or brushless esc for these rigs use the men i uh, used the many of them and they're Pretty reliable, but if you do, if your rig takes a hard whack, you can knock them out. You can lose. Like, I've got one that's lost reverse, and there's nothing I can do to get it back. But that's fine. I mean, heck, it's, it's kit provided, and so we'll use it to begin with. Definitely, uh, definitely, whenever we go to modify, we'll put something in there that'll really hold some power and has good brakes. I do like these. I've got several of these. This is the LED kit. Now, it's got enough for the headlights and the taillights. But there's several ports on these things to add different lights to it. So if you wanted to put like turn signals, reverse lights, things of that nature. And I know you really can't see it, but I don't want to take it out because there's so many wires. But on those, on that control box, there's so many ports on this side to add just a, a plethora of lights. Now, the, the one thing that I do like about this kit is this. It's one reason why I bought it. Now, and I know that camera's not going to do any justice, but this body. It's a good looking body, man, honestly. Uh, mind you, I'm not a I'm not really a, a Mercedes-Benz guy, but this is a great looking body. And the detail, Tamiya has some, some great molds because there is so much detail in this, right down to the hinges on the doors. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but uh, this is gonna be a fantastic piece. It's got a chrome grill, chrome headlight buckets, and we are going to shoot it with Let's see, this is PS63 Bright Gun Metal from Tamiya. Tamiya. I, I, God, I'll get it right one day. Camera probably does not do it justice, but that is going to be a great looking color. I think it's going to get close to the box art. I'm not real sure. Maybe a little darker, but these, even though they're a little pricey, these, these, can, these paints are just about perfect. They're perfect match for a Tamiya kit, obviously, but... Um, I'm hoping that this paint will come out and look just a fraction close to the can, the caps on these cans. Uh, wish me luck on that one. <laughs> it's a disaster way. Now, we're not going to go through of what every major piece is, but we do have axles by themselves here. So we've got some pretty stout axles. I'm, I'm anxious to get in there and see what the gears and everything are for these things. It's pretty stout as far as the axles go there. And this looks like part of this is actually the center. Now this won't have a skid plate for now, but it may later. But where it looks like the center where everything's built off of and some other chassis pieces. And then looks like pieces for the drive shafts here. If you can see that. I don't like the cups. If you can see the cups in there, let's see if I can get one. Let's just take them out. Here. I don't like the drive shaft cups. Probably wind up and change those out completely. Um, yeah, can you see those cups now? Looks like oh goodness. Looks like a standard like Traxxas cup. If you can see those holes in there. But that's another upgrade. And the main, and one of the purposes of doing this is going to be to do it on the cheap. So it ain't like we're going to throw hundreds of bucks at this thing. So. And we'll, I'll try to keep a running total on it. 
Oh my gosh, here we go. Looks like some control arms. That's where they lock the diffs on these things. Can you see that? That's how you lock the differentials on a Tamiya rig. To me, a Tamiya, whatever. Super easy. All right, here we go. We've got the we've got the suspension links. My God, at a body post. Look how long that body post is. Good grief. <laughs> that is that is way big. Hold on. Pull this out. I know the glare off the back is probably killing it. So, look at the length of that body post. Can you see that? That that is one solitary body post. Good. God. Look, I mean. Pfft. <laughs> that is crazy but also the uh the the suspension links for the front end, it looks like the front end here they're pretty stout they should be fairly easy to mock too whenever i go to upgrade it and, and either build my own or whatever i built the suspension kit for my cc01 that i'm still working on right now uh using cross rc suspension links and had to cut them down and so I'm, that's a work in progress i'll get into that in another video but anyway here we go let's keep going so here is the transmission the base of the transmission this looks a lot like an scx 10 trans case it really does and that's a good thing that's a real good thing so here we go with that shock parts oh god lots of shock parts all right, so we got plastic bodied shocks, but they are definitely oil filled, which is a good thing. I'm curious about the length on them. Don't know that right now. And then there's a ton of different shock pistons and shock spacers, all kinds of things. That's, that's decent. That's pretty decent. Here we go. Now we get down to the brass tacks of it all. So the frame rails of this thing are actually plastic, okay? That's not doing any good to see it like that. I am so sorry, fellas, bear with me. You guys know I'm not great at this Johnny on the spot stuff. Plastic frame rails, but the tips on both ends are metal. I do know that, I've seen enough videos to know that, so after it's all built, this should be fairly safe. That's a beefy rail, man. If that was metal, that would be, oh, that would be the man right there. But yeah, it's that's that's a pretty nice. It's gonna be a nice setup. I'm really anxious to get started on this. Then we come down to the grill. God, man, that's pretty grill. Look at the grill there, and then the headlight buckets, obviously. And with the that, I believe this piece here. Right here, it's got a logo on it also. Let me see. See the logo? I think that is the insert for the spare tire carrier. So all of this stuff here is ABS. Uh, so it's going to be tough to get the the right amount of sheen as opposed to the body. But it'll be close anyway. But we've got spare tire cover. This looks like some pieces for the back end. I'm not sure. Maybe a front air dam. And then we've got... Mirrors here, obviously. Well, mirrors right here. Go on the outside of the body. Oh gosh, all kinds of stuff. This is, I don't know what these things are. I don't want to start spouting off what they are and not really be 100% sure. I believe these right here are the actual lights that go up on top of the hood, but we'll find out together when this thing gets built. Then we get down into the heart of this pig. Not gonna open it up all together, just show you what we got. Huge box, huge bag of parts. Lots and lots of mess. And I can't wait to get tore open and start building. Okay, now this is interesting. Now on a, on a Tamiya kit, they usually use a, a huge pitch gear. But on this one, from what I can see right here, that is a 48 pitch transmission gear, which is different, way different. Uh, that's nice to know. So we may be able to interchange some parts from some older kit or other kits and leftover pieces that I have. That's a good thing. That's a real good thing. Instruction manual. We've all seen them. Not going to go through it all, but nice. Looks like a small town phone book. 
by the, by the weight of it. <laughs> we got the LED instruction unit. And then this thing here, I think honestly just covers a warrant, like any kind of warranty or whatever, uh, which I don't think there's much of. Look at the immense amount, amount of window of, uh, <laughs> oh Jesus, just look, oh my God. Window masks, Jesus Christ. We got one for the way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for just the windows. And then we have the lights. 10, 11, and the two up on the top side of the, oh my God, 13 window mask total. Yeah, that's right, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, yeah, 13 window mask for one body, one! <laughs> and, uh, and then, there's a day of work right there in nothing but decals. Each one of them has to be individually cut and laid on that body right there, which a lot of people don't, get into I love it I think it's a lot of fun uh, I, I usually turn on some music sit back cut them out one at a time put on before you know it you get started and you can work on this thing you'll have 40 decals placed on this thing in no time flat and that's usually when I get up and say hey I'm gonna go take a break whatever come out put another bit next thing you know this whole damn thing's finished and goes super quick even though the time does stack up I've had bodies that have taken me five hours to put decals on I built a TTO1 Subaru Impreza, uh, new version. <laughs> I don't know if I even said that right, but it was a Subaru Impreza that I built. It had 135 decals. It took me five hours to decal that body nonstop. Stopped a few times, but that was about it. But hey, look, that's it, guys. We have got one heck of a rig here to put together. I am looking forward to it. I'm going to stop the video. Hope you guys like it follow along i probably won't get any video built in the truck because there's so many of those out there uh, but i'll definitely get it when it's in roller plus when the paint's on the body when the body's finished and then the 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 major thing will be when this truck is tested in kit form then we'll have us a baseline we can get back in tear it apart put the right stuff in it get back out and really see what this thing will do Thanks for watching. I'm glad you stuck around. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Hit the notification bell. That way you're aware every time I put something on. Until next time, take good care, fellas. God bless you and God bless America. We'll see you on the next video.